This video will take you through the mathematics of density. A simple definition of density is how much stuff there is in a given volume. For example, here we have two equal volumes, but there is more stuff in the volume on the right. Hence, it is more dense. Alternately, you can have the same amount of stuff but in a different volume. For example, both of these objects have the same amount of stuff in them, but because the volume on the right is smaller, that stuff is more tightly packed, hence more dense. The basic formula for average volumetric mass density is rho is equal to m over v. Rho is the volumetric mass density, m is the total mass, and capital V is the total volume. In SI units, mass is measured in kilograms, volume is measured in cubic meters, and hence density will have the units of kilograms per cubic meters. Note that the formula can still be algebraically rearranged for any of the variables. This will be important in a later chapter where we need to find the mass enclosed in a volume of a certain liquid. Now let's try through a sample calculation. Suppose we have a mystery cylinder that looks shiny, goldish colored, and we made multiple measurements of its mass and its dimensions. We first start by averaging the measurements for each variable. Then we need to convert each of the measurements into SI units. The volume of a solid cylinder is pi r squared h. We need to make sure to divide the diameter by 2 before plugging in with units to get our total volume. We then use these to plug in for average density. Notice I have rounded off the final answer to the two significant digits justified by our measurements. To figure out what the mystery object may be made of, we turn to a table of densities. 
In this case, the material with a density most similar to our object is copper. However, we know from observations of the color that the object cannot be copper. Copper is distinctly red in color. Instead, we will try an alloy of copper, brass, because it will still have a similar density, but a more correct goldish color. Our final calculations are the error percentages. Because we have two values for theoretical density, we need to do two calculations to establish a range of errors. A thorough error analysis will not be demonstrated in this video. However, as an exercise, try out the considerations for measurement errors, rounding errors, as well as the validity of using the assumed volume formula or the average density formula to explain the calculated errors.